on that one we've got a quick update courtesy of twitter daily twitter daily update which i am absolutely infused by because i have to be honest this gives me a reason to get a verif verification tick on twitter and not feel guilty and not feel like a lame you know why look at this look at this update courtesy of twitter daily news twitter has further evolved the verified prompt so now when you go on twitter and you click somebody's name to see if they're verified or click the tick i mean sorry next to their name now it comes up a little message that says verified account this account is verified get verified it doesn't say anything about it being a legacy anything about you buying twitter blue which you obviously did to get it nothing of that ilk so you don't feel lame you don't feel like a flipping desperate pathetic um you know um social media validation wanting loser right no you don't feel like that instead what you feel like you feel like a boss you feel like a chosen one you feel like you're important so now i'm definitely gonna get a verification tick because the shame is gone no more do we have shame for getting a verification tick and saying you are now subscribed to blue no it says this now this account is verified get verified nothing else nothing more which I'm really happy about. And it's a good little move because this little changing of the wording, I'm being facetious and joking around here, but I'm sure other people will definitely get it because of it. And it will just kind of, you know, be another reason why people will be like, you know what? This is a reason to get it also. Like, see, another guy, guy, yes, I'm very fine. Like, every, everybody's on it now. Everybody's doing it. Good change, this person says. I was thinking the other day that it would be like this, encourage people to get themselves verified instead of the passive learn more. Um, another one says, excited to see this will be next week. Another person says, still hoping for the hashtag and their food da, 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 another one da, da, da. so and if i'm not mistaken if you get verified it bumps your replies up and it makes you kind of you know prioritize in your algorithm and you get other benefits also let me just read it actually I just got it here right on twitter blue if i click my twitter blue what's what's the benefits here i just I actually forgot let me quickly read them through so blue, blue subscribers with a verified phone number will get a blue check mark um, if you get it monthly, let's see what monthly benefits are. The monthly benefits, prioritize rankings in conversations and search. Um, you get to see approximately twice as many tweets between ads in your for you and following timelines and following timeline sorry you add a bold or italic text onto your tweets which is cool you get to post longer videos which is beneficial for me especially when i post all my club videos and shit in 1080p and all existing blue features include edit tweets which is a big one um, bookmark folders and early access to new features that is absolutely incredible to be honest that's pretty decent and it's only for like what oh it's bumped up now before it's eight so they bumped up the price oh 929 9.92 a month so it's now ten dollars a month to get that value. To be honest, I'm not too bad. I'm not too. I'm not mad because I have to be honest. Like over the last few years, especially since the pandemic, Twitter has definitely been my number one social media app that I use now um, on a somewhat daily basis. I'm not using Instagram as much anymore. Um, I hardly even use it to be fair. And um, I mostly I'm using my Twitter um, because I feel like you get your news instant. I like the writing and kind of sharing your thoughts aspects of it, and it just kind of it feels like what Twitter's always been just this this kind of kind of social media verbal diarrhea of like information and videos and memes and whatnot where i feel like instagram i loved it because of the sharing pictures aspects of it but now it's turned into like a copy of like tiktok with the reels reels have become king i know people who just search on instagram on reels they don't even go on their feed they just go on the real section and just keep swiping all the way like like you would do on tiktok like an endless feed of content so that's not really what i want to use instagram for i want to see beautiful pictures but people don't do that anymore because it's not prioritized and they don't push it so twitter's definitely been my kind of substitute for it so i wouldn't mind spending the 10 pounds on twitter blue per month because i use it all the time more than any other social media but there is inherently a very lame part of it about buying a sub a, a verification um i don't see anything wrong in regular people getting it all these celebrities complaining they can go jump off a bridge to be honest and it clearly shows their disdain for the general public in overall i think most of these guys and girls would rather you know remain on this heightened elevated you know plinth whatever like, a, like they're a member of the royal family they don't actually want their fans to be on the same level of them they kind of like being above them so the fact that they can get a verification tick kind of annoys them in that regard um but just from a purely um 
you know, as a utility for me and what I'm doing, it's definitely something that I probably should be looking into. So, uh, big up them and Twitter for kind of, and you know, putting that flipping update in the, you know, basically cleaning up the verification um, wording there. And there's also some updates cl overall about the Twitter and what they've been adding overall in terms of features, which is pretty extensive to be fair here. I'll read it again, courtesy of Twitter Daily News. Big up them. That account is absolutely amazing. It says the big updates from Twitter team today. Here's a thread of all the updates. Um, so far they've got highlights tab there's a larger video size support there's a dm reply you you ui update you got new draft schedule and tweets ui and tweets boosting and inline media for long tweets as you scroll down you've got option to highlight a tweet which is pretty sick so you can put all your kind of best of threads and stuff on there i think some people do that they'll have like their best of threads bookmarked and then maybe or they'll have it pinned sometimes and they'll just keep replying to the pinned tweet with their threads that they kind of are, are famous for maybe stories maybe exposés whatever it's pretty cool to kind of check out this all reminds me of like a old blogger back in the day if you guys remember that big up my stop begging blog that was flipping legendary but i kind of like that highlights tab that's a pretty sick option there there's a larger video size um for up to two hours up to eight gigabytes of size so that means people can be direct legitimately creating native content for twitter and uh, video and uploading it on there so i'm probably gonna end up giving that a go instead of just posting clips i'm already making that's gonna be sick there's a new message reply ui here um i'm not oh okay cool this is kind of you can reply to an actual message which you can't do now to Twitter DMs. You just have to reply like in a text, but you can actually click on the message and reply it, similar to like WhatsApp. There's a option to schedule messages and draft them as well there. You've got a boost option for, for your tweet. You can, you can pay for to get more reach. Um, you've got inline media option, which is pretty neat. I like that, to be honest. And that looks like a good little option there. And again, all these cool options coming very, very, very soon. So really eager to see it. Um, can't wait for it. Um, and kind of definitely do it on my account coming soon. Um, Megan Fran here in the chat says he overpaid for Twitter a lot. Yeah, for sure. He definitely overpaid. I think he confessed anyway in that interview, Elon. He finally confessed that he did overpay for it. He tried to back out of it when he realized it. Then he got held, his, his feet got held to the fire. He had to kind of follow through. And then when he did follow through, he kind of, despite the fact that he had to buy it, did all that madness, you know, like that he did at Twitter to kind of piss off everybody. And generally he's a power user, right? He uses it anyway, day to day. And a lot of people on Twitter, especially politically wise, are opposed to him. So it, naturally it was, he was always going to be butting heads with people. It was never going to be a kind of perfect marriage, but he definitely, I felt like went above and beyond to be a bit of a dick just because you know he could you know so big up him um but yeah man big up everybody in the chat big up everybody hanging in there i appreciate all you guys for checking out if you are watching or this like this podcast live um please make sure that you smash the like button for me if you like that that'd be great if you're listening to the podcast on you know on all the audio platforms like spotify apple Podcasts, and all the other places where podcasts are available just share the podcast for me that'd be greatly appreciated or if you can do another thing and leave me a review that would also be greatly appreciated you can leave reviews on spotify and apple podcast that would also be helpful really really hoping that you guys can do that if you have the time if you have the time brandon says how is elon a genius an amazing businessman yes but genius no no um he's definitely smart i think people out there that are trying to say elon musk isn't smart are really being facetious is he like the guy responsible for making the flipping um you know, the rockets for SpaceX? No. Is he responsible for legitimately drawing the cars that are manufactured over at Tesla or even putting the cars together? Of course not. But I think for the longest time in, in tech and in general, there was always this um, need to kind of purport to be the guy that was actually making the stuff. Like similar with Steve Jobs, only after he died, I felt like people were more understanding of the role that he played at Apple and that if he was kind of like the leader in terms of kind of, you know, he was basically the, he was kind of the person at the front of the flipping, you know, orchestra, but it wasn't as if he was playing every instrument. That's obviously wasn't the case. But I feel like a lot of these guys lean into the idea that, hey, you know, we are the fucking guy that's designing all the stuff and he doesn't do that. He's definitely someone that delegates well. He definitely has ideas on certain things, but he's not designing and making all these things himself. That's for sure. But I feel like, as per usual, I feel like these people or some people like him, he's a lot of his kind of allure and appeal was sort of like stripped when he was being really active on social media. Simple as that. 
too when you're too active on social at some points it can sort of like take away from your mystery it can take away from your law from your appeal and people just generally don't really vibe with it well and it kind of just kind of ruins whatever mystery you have or you know how well you're regarded i feel like his kind of willingness or his kind of desire to be famous and to be noticed kind of turned people off i think intin intrinsically definitely did turn people off and they kind of decided to kind of you know try and expose them at every turn that's why when I, I always love checking out um the subreddit enough elon musk spam because those guys and girls on that subreddit are really you know um really really on a mission to try and let people know that elon musk isn't smart and isn't that guy but a lot of the posts sometimes can be a little bit you know they're going a little bit too far, but it's good to see the both sides of things because I've been a fan of Elon from the beginning, kind of. Um, you know, like I said previously before, I read that amazing unofficial autobiography by Ashley Vance. Definitely check it out. It's probably one of my first books I bought on Audible as an audio book. It's absolutely banging. And it kind of really paints this picture of a really inspirational kind of dude. And over time, that guy that I knew before when I read that book is definitely not the same guy nowadays. I think fame has definitely corrupted him the same way that it broke the brain of someone like a Jordan Peterson and just you know these guys in general in their middle age when they become like famous and stuff it can definitely do something to your brain and I think um, he's never really clearly recovered from it but to say that Elon Musk isn't smart is a real insult to be honest because we know he is especially considering most of us are not doing as many jobs as he has right he's got a million companies under his flipping you know purview he's not running them all day to day don't get me wrong but he's heavily involved in twitter especially now to get it back on its feet he's definitely heavily involved in spacex and definitely heavily involved in tesla all the other things in terms of the boring company maybe you can kind of you know ring him on that the flipping delivery of the cyber truck still hasn't been done yet um tesla's got a lot of issues in terms of the cars in terms of the quality control the batteries and where they're mined from blah 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 his personal life is also something a little bit suspect whatever but the guy definitely isn't dumb let's not say that let's not go that far but you know i'm not here to defend the guy he's perfectly